So hello and good evening, this is Rutte Pasuelo from Kurva.com and uh, today I'm going to show you a really really cool trick. Um, this is something that is used for text analytics and for example the word cloud visualization does it and uh, what it means is that it counts how often a word shows up on a text or on, you know, on a table and then the word cloud visualization what it will do is highlight that and show you this is the word that came out the most and uh, what we're going to do in this video is i'm going to show you how to do that basically manually in power query there are a few reasons for that these steps are really cool so you will be able to learn a few new cool tricks and uh, sometimes it is actually useful that you actually have the word count and you have the words by itself instead of having the word cloud do that for you without you having access to the count and the word count so this is something that I needed uh, like a few months back, actually. I've been holding on this video for a while, but because I didn't have time to do it. So now I have a little bit of time and this is like a super cool trick. This is 100% stolen from Chris Webb, old, like super old uh, blog post, but it's super, super useful. Chris, I hope it's okay that I'm stealing your content to, to show the trick, but it's absolutely magic and it should be... Uh, recovered from your archives definitely I've used it and it's fantastic so I'm going to stop stop talking now and I'm, I'm going to start doing so follow along if you want to know how to do a word counter how to count words how often a word shows up let's begin okay so here we are in power bi and the only thing i have done is i have actually imported a list of keywords from my website curval and nothing strange i just downloaded to a csv file i just promoted the headers and then um, removed the search um, number of searches because that's not what we want what we actually want is to have these text into words so i want to know uh, how many times YouTube so show up or DAX or yeah, whatever it is. So to do that, we need to do a few steps uh, to be able to transform this into something that we can actually count how many times a word appears in a search term. So what we're going to do is uh, convert this first into a list. And once we have that, what we're going to do is convert all these into one line of text, okay? And um, as we're working now with list, a lot of the available functions disappear, so we need to do this manually. We go here to the advanced editor, and we need to write the following. We are going to call it line to text. And this is lines to text. And then we will use the previous step, our new created list, comma. And then we are going to separate it by space. And then, of course, we change this to line to text. So we execute it. Done. Mm. Okay, so I wrote something incorrect. It says the name lean that the text is not recognized. Perhaps it goes better like that. Yay. Okay, so now we have uh, everything in one. Um, in one cell, if you would say so. So what we are going to do here is we're going to clean it up. We're going to remove uh, the, I mean, you can remove, if this would be a text, oh my God, I haven't shown, <laughs> I have to show. I have to show where these come from, Jesus. Okay, so this is uh, Chris Webb's uh, blog. This is from 2013. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of years ago, but it's so good. So he's actually taking a uh, extract from Shakespeare's some um, 
It says it somewhere. Uh, yeah, here. A text file containing the works of William Shakespeare. We can be downloaded for free here. And then he uh, used it to find the top 100 most frequent used words. Okay, so in that case, you would want to remove these kind of um, symbols like comma, semicolon, because you don't want to count that. And uh, I am going to add it to the code so you have it, but in my case, I don't have any of that. What I could uh, remove is things that like strange letters or misspellings if I would like to, but I don't want, I definitely don't want to do it in search keywords. It's good to know. But we're going to remove this even if I don't have any of my text, okay? Just because if you have a true text, that would be useful. And I'm, of course, going to put the link of um, Chris Webb's uh, blog post on the description box so you can come here and read all about it, okay? So sorry that. I forgot to mention this in the beginning. Oh, Jesus. Okay, but let's continue. So what we are going to do now is we are going to clean the text. Okay, so we go here, clean text. And uh, just so you don't have to watch me write all this stuff, I will just copy it. But here you have the dot, the uh, question mark semicolon, colon, at, yeah, all this kind of stuff. And you can write anything that you would like to remove, okay? And then we're going to, again, write the name here, so it executes, clean text. Text. Mm. I'm having luck today, basically. Yes, okay, here's the thing. When I copy this from um, his blog, it will be wrong, okay? Because I've changed, I'm not using the same name. So I have to put here the previous step in order to clean that up, okay? So I'm not going to cut when I do mistakes or when Power BI shows something wrong because it might be that you get the same error and then you know what happened. So I'm going to leave it as is. So every mistake I make, you'll see it and you'll see how it corrects. I think it's the best way to learn. It's no idea for me to, to make it beautiful and then you, you stumble across the same problems that I had. And yeah, it's easier that if I have the same problem, then you can see it and fix it. So the next thing we're going to do, we are actually going to um, make everything lowercase. In this case, most of it, it is, not everything. And the reason for that is because when we're counting, we just want, don't want to count the same word because it has capital letters somewhere. So we're going back in here, advanced editor, and then let's add that step. This is lowercase. And then we have a text lower. And then the previous step, clean text. And now we don't need to do anything else. And we have to call again that so it executes lower case. And hope it's not an error again. No, now I have lower case. If you see here, template rank X. Yeah, everything is lowercase. Perfect. Now that we have done all these modifications, what we're going to do is actually convert it to table so we can continue working with it. Okay. So just go to, I think it went too fast. You go to transform and then to table, and then you will get everything in one cell. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is to split these into words. Um, so we get a table with the words. In this case, we're going to get a list first. So we go up here again. We call it split words, for example. And we write table transform columns. And then we have the step, previous step. And 
we have these curly brackets and then we have column one I think is called and a splitter make sure to write this correctly because uh, Power Query is actually case sensitive. So if you misspell something, it will beat you. <laughs> it will bite you, not beat you. Uh, so you have to be careful with your spelling anyhow. Um, that's not the matter. And then here to execute, let's hope that I get this right. Mm -hmm. Yay! So here we have a list of uh, what is it? all the words available in the um, in the list. So what we need to do now is to expand, and here we have a table with all the. Um, all the words that are available in uh, in the text that I sent. So the next thing we're, we're going to do is actually to count how many times the word shows and then we are good to go. So as you can see what we have here is of course all the words that we have. So we have if we find power you'll see power there and you'll see it again and you'll see it again and uh, what we need to do now is to actually group this and count and just only count I just said wrong so we are going to group by uh, column one of course and then we just want to count so what this is going to do is group all the words that are uh, equal and then give them a count and then here you will see um, how often a word shows up in the text that we specify. So this is super useful, like a really, really useful trick. And this allows you also to clean text before using the word cloud. Okay, so you have the possibility to transform it, to clean it, and then use it in the word cloud. Or you can just count it and give that count to your users. So they can not only see how big the size of the word is, but how many times that word actually showed up. So extremely useful. Give it a go. I will post the link to Chris uh, Webb's uh, blog post and you can actually download William Shakespeare. I think it's funnier than my keyword. And just go ahead and follow the steps either in the video or his steps here. They're like gold. <laughs> definitely gold because his text is more is more difficult it's definitely more difficult than mine uh, but you, you just use the same um, uh, steps I used and uh, you'll be able to count words it's super super cool so yeah this is actually all for today ladies and gentlemen uh, and uh, as usual if you like the video just let me know by liking it share it with somebody if you think they also should know this awesome trick if you are new to the channel i publish power bi videos every monday wednesday and friday monday is for power query wednesday is for anything power bi and uh, fridays is for dax so make sure you subscribe Click on the bell to receive notifications when I publish new videos. And thank you very much for watching. You guys are awesome. So thank you. Have a great evening. Bye.